Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Okay, so in the last episode, we got to Giant Step, we beat Giant Step, we got ourselves the song, and now we've got it in the soundstone, and we are ready to rumble. Alright, so in this episode, we're going to make way down to Onnit. Uh, we've got to get the hell out of here first, though. But once you beat a Sanctuary, the boss, uh, th all the enemies will uh, run away from you, because you beat the Sanctuary Guardian, so they will fear you. Because they'll be like, oh no, you beat our leader, we must bow down to you, we're not worthy, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. <laughs> You're too powerful, Ness, I can't withstand your power. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, we don't need to do any more grinding in here, we're pretty so sufficient on levels. I think we actually gained a level, for, yeah we did, we gained a level 11 from fighting the boss. And that means we have 818 more experience until we gain our next level, which we actually might gain in this episode, because... Ah, oh, believe it or not, we have to fight another boss! Yeah! Great! Fantastic! <laughs> to get to the next town we do, anyway. Um, come to think of it, there's actually quite a lot of bosses in this game. Hey you, the board says, do not enter. Couldn't you read it? No, I'm blind, you stupid buffoon! What a rebellious kid! Come on, come... Uh, bleh. Come to the Onnit Police Station later. Uh, fine, I guess. If you're gonna arrest me, you might as well do it now. That'll stop me from doing drugs and doing cocaine or whatever. Well, drugs, cocaine, essentially the same thing. <laughs> but whatever. Well, actually, no, there's good drugs and then there's bad drugs. There's the illegal drugs and then there's the legal drugs. Cocaine is obviously illegal and uh, Calpol is legal. Cough medicine, legal. Um, I don't know if you know what Cowpol is, but it's basically a brand of cough medicine, so. If you have that in America, which is, which is the most tastiest medicine you could ever taste in your whole life, it's so good. But it's the kind of stuff you'd have when you were little, not like, not like you are now as an, as an adult. Alright, so we're supposed to go to the police station, which can be found right here next to the bakery. The armory and the bakery. Why is the road to the Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. Okay, Chortle, for me. Oh, is he going to take us to the back room and rape us? Oh no! Please! Officer! Don't do this to me! I didn't do anything wrong! I just... My curiosity got out of hand and the mayor... It was on the mayor's orders. The mayor ordered me to go to the dungeon. The, the mayor. Take it up with the mayor. Take it up with him. It's not my fault. <laughs> See if you could pass. Get past five of my best men. All right, bring it on, guys. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. There's a snake in my boots. There's a snake in my boots. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Yeah. More seriously, let's try and beat these guys. <laughs> And I believe the police officers also have a very high chance of getting a critical when they do the crushing chop. And it does enough damage, it does enough damage enough as it is, it does 29 damage. Or, well, I think that's the highest amount it does. Varies from 24 to 29 as far as I'm concerned. You are tough, you should join the police force. Well thanks for the compliment dude. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Wow, even even stronger than Superman? Even stronger than Batman? Even stronger than Spider-Man? All those superheroes? Really? Okay, maybe I went a bit too overzealous there. Yeah, I went a bit too overzealous. I should not have done that. Oh, why does this always have to happen to me? Why can it happen to someone else? Why not Pokey? I mean, Pokey's evil. Why am I the one suffering? How much money do I have anyway? I need to stay in the hotel. I only have eight dollars. Please take my eight dollars. I can't be asked to go into this room here and exchange money from the ATM machine and then bring it to you so then I can stay a ho night in the hotel. It's just that I'm a kid and you know, I don't know how to use this stuff. All I gotta do is check it, apparently, so the manual says, Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select a transaction and withdraw. Yes, okay, so now we're gonna withdraw uh, $39. 
You don't need to withdraw. F well, actually, no, we'll just withdraw $34. You'll then pay that off for our stay at the hotel. Yay, I've got $7 left over. I feel so special. What's going on here? Shulk? Shulk? Yeah, someone's saying something. Shulk? I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Cassia. Okay, can you hear me calling you? I am Cassia. Well, there you go. So, someone's trying to get to us. The boogeyman's trying to get to me! <laughs> Quick, lock him up in the cupboard and bar barricade it with uh, titanium metal and keychains and locksmith doors or whatever. I don't know. Locksmith doors? <laughs> Is there such thing as that? I don't know. There's no such thing as that. I'm just being crazy. It's the friggin' magic mushrooms I've been taking. Yeah. You guys probably think I have been taking magic mushrooms. I'm friggin' crazy. Me and my weird ass crazy commentary. <clears throat> Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Right, so we gotta beat the first one and then we're on to the second one, which is the one that we died at. And then we have to beat two more and the last one runs away because, you know, we're just too powerful. That he'll end up realizing that no, I, I don't want to be victimized by this kid. I will be embarrassed in front of the whole government of Onet and the whole presidential uh, political party of Eagle Land, which is where Ness is from. It's from Eagle Land, even though I don't see many eagles. Like, where's the eagles at, bro? Your average policeman is stronger than any superior. Yes, we know that. You've told us this stuff before a million times, and I'm sick of hearing it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out my anger, my frustration, all out on your sorry ass. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's eat a hamburger. Because I'm not risking my life here against a stupid police officer. Yeah, why do they always keep doing the crushing chop? That, that seems to be their most common attack. Like, why can't you just do regular attacks? That'd be a hell of a lot more easier. For me, huh, not for you though. So yeah, we're getting like 86 per police officer that we're killing here. And these are enemies that you come across in twosome, so we're fighting pretty tough enemies here, because there are tough enemies in the next town, but, you know, considering this is the first town and we're fighting enemies that we are going to be encountering in the next town, is kind of crazy to think about. Right, for the love of God, please give me a critical, because I've not got a I don't think I've got a critical so far on this whole entire Let's Play. I just want a critical. Give me one, please. I think there's actually a specific baseball bat in this game that gives out criticals um, almost every time. But I can't remember what baseball bat it's called now. I can't remember where you get it either. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's one of those baseball bats that you can buy in one of the towns later on in the game. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. Cause you're the love I've been looking for my whole entire life. You make me so happy. I just wanna cry. Um, the hell am I on about? I don't even know anymore. Heal myself, quick, before I die. The cop attack with a crushing chop. Ah, you broke my pelvis. And now I can no longer take a shit on the toilet because uh, my pelvis is broken. Somebody help me, please. Quick, call the medical people to come save me. Officer, I'm in a lot of pain. This guy did a crushing chop on my pelvis. And now I can no longer move. That's it, buddy. You can't forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. Yeah, and then Captain Falcon comes along and says, Show me your moves! I can't show you my moves! My pelvis is broken, man! <laughs> my pelvis! You're making me so jealous! Captain Strong attacked. Wow, this guy looks very, uh, very stern. Um, yeah, the best thing to do here is just to use Monado power. 
Because every now and then he'll he'll like stand on guard, but then there'll be one time where he'll do his mo moxo trot fox trot thing, and it does like a whole load of damage. So I, I can't remember what it's called. It's a macho fox trot crushing chopper tackle or something crazy along those lines. Oh, he came out swinging. 114. Oh wow, that was a lot easier than I expected. And I thought it was going to be a lot longer than that, but yeah, we got 492 XP from that, and that gains us up to our next level, which is level 12. Offense went up by 2, speed went up by 2, oh baby. Guts went up by 3, IQ went up by 2, luck went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 1, and that rocks. Maximum PP went up by 9, nice. And we also learned PSI Ability Shield Alpha. That is really cool. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep, beep, click. Rrr, click. Strong here. Do you read me? Krr. Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, kid. A uh, listen, a kid named Shulk will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. I started off with an accent there, but it kind of faded away towards the end. <laughs> well, kid, I'm going to question you now, but I do want you to. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. Thanks uh, for wishing me luck uh, after kicking my ass. Like, what kind? What kind of test was this? Was this just your attempt of raping me or something? <laughs> I don't know. Let's speak to this weird-looking guy. Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Oh, so you're one of those shady undercover bacon cops? Undercover bacon cups? Uh, undercover... Uh, 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 my tongue's getting twisted. Undercover cop. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, sometimes talking too fast can really twist your tongue. And make you say stupid things that you don't mean to say. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, we shall head over to our next town, which is Onet. No, not Onet. Tucson. Yeah, we got to go down to Tucson. So we started off in Onet. And now we're going to Tucson, so it's kind of weird because it's one, two, and yeah, we're going, we're going from one town to the next, which is one, two, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, so I'm, I'm just going to end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So anyway, guys, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take everybody's time in that studio, and goodbye.